Ah, it's time for another detour from my power walk. And we go to the interminable path in our secret place in the contemplative forest. We're moving in to our very special place so it can cover some of the topics that I bring in from my theory and practice of biocognitive science. And here's your bench. Just for you to sit and enjoy, relax, what I'm going to be talking about today. And it'll be forgetting how to age. Forget to age. And that may sound very silly. It may sound like some kind of a new age nonsense. But I'm going to bring you some real science here. I'm going to bring you cultural neuroscience and cultural psychoneuroimmunology. The cultural neuroscience looks at how the brain learns to perceive culturally. And cultural psychoneuroimmunology, which is the area that I propose, looks at how cultural beliefs affect the regulation of the nervous, immune, and endocrine system. So having said that, let's go to forgetting how to age. First, we learn how to age, to know that. Our cultures teach us how to grow older, and there's a difference. So you might say everyone ages. No, everyone grows older, and people age in different ways and at different rates. So you have to unlearn that. There are what I call cultural portals, which put you in a place based on your age, specifically your age. The infant, the child, the young adult, the adult, the middle age, especially the middle age is a dangerous one, if you don't pay attention, and then the elderly. But those are culturally defined, mostly culturally defined. The difference is that growing older only requires time. Today, you're a day older than yesterday. Growing older is what you do with the passing of time based mostly on the cultural beliefs that you learn to assimilate aging. And there is some wear and tear, but it's minimal compared to what you do with the belief systems. So first you unlearn aging, which means that you unlearn what you were taught about what a person at 40 should be like, dress like, or even get sick like, or someone at 80, even the culture editors, the doctors, and people in positions of power will tell you, well, what do you want for your age? At your age this, at your age that. Those are probabilities based on averages of group studies. You are an individual, you're a universe in yourself. And all of this work comes from what I've done with centenarians, people who are over 100. For over 25 years I've been studying centenarians and they have a different way of growing older. And they forget about growing older. They forget about aging, what they were told by their cultures, and they begin to live their world as outliers. So this is how you want to live. Many studies show that we project time and space. Depending on the time that we project in our minds and in our brains, it'll show you how much pain you're going to have. It'll show you how much insulin you're going to need if you're a diabetic, and many other things based on the context and the time. So be aware, what you want to change is, what did I learn about my age now, whether you're young or old, doesn't matter, and what is it that I want to do to let go of all of that and begin to live my life as an outlier, as an ageless person, as a person who lives with all the time in the world, who has tremendous power in changing their genetic expression and epigenetic expression. The genetics is what you get from thousands of years. The epigenetic is the influence that environments and conditions outside of yourself have on the expression of your genes. So epigenetics is happening all the time. And if you have the epigenetics of helplessness where you're told, uh, well, what do you want for your age? Yeah, you're right. Well, when you say what do you want for your age and you buy it, you have 
learned helplessness, which affects the immune system and goes into helplessness also by reducing natural killer cells and other kinds of functions. So your thoughts have an effect on your biology because you are your biology. So learn that you can forget aging. Forget how to age and learn how to live with the causes of health as you're growing old. Remember that, and you'll see. Stay tuned. There's much I have on my uh, YouTube channel about this information, workshops, and so forth about it. And, of course, my bestseller, The Mind-Body Code. But enjoy. And from now on, forget how to age by learning how to live with the causes of health and trigger them. Now back to my power walk. And I already forgot how to age. I did a long time ago. And you will too. Enjoy.